Alright, so back on the bus station. I just arrived at the bus station, but it's like like always the mall. Now I must be staying with a couch surfer, and that couch surfer is in the airport, so I gotta go. He works there, so I go meet him at the airport. So I gotta find a way to get there. I am now walking to the airport, which might be a little far. I should have taken a taxi, maybe. So it was funny, guys. When we were getting here, it was kind of cool. Then all of a sudden, it got hot as so. hell. Here is very hot and humid. Very humid, actually. All right. Made it to the airport. From what I've read, uh, this airport is, I mean, the city is the biggest city in, in Ecuador. Quito, the capital, is not bigger than this. This is. I am here now with Julius. Julius is my couch surfer host. And he brought me to this Middle Eastern food where they have shawarmas. And we're, I don't know what this is. I've never seen this before. Keep it. Keep it? Yeah. Like I was telling you guys, in Quito, there's like a huge Middle Eastern. I don't know why, but I guess not why either, but they have like three restaurants here. Like, if you see that restaurant over there, it's Arabic too. So we're about to cross the... There's a body of water that goes around this city, and it's this one right here. And on the other side, you have like two universities, I think. You have an university here, right? The Catholic public university. And that fancy one over there one. is a Catholic university. But this whole area is pretty nice. here in Guayaquil. You guys know I love the Metrobus. And this one's very nice too. It's like one year old, right? Five years old. Alright guys, so we continue the tour of the city and this is the central park, I think, of uh, Centenario. Centenario. For hundred years. Yeah. So it's like an independence monument. He used to tell me that this is kind of like Panama City. Like this city was burned and burned by pirates, just like Panama City. It was burned three times. But look at these streets. They're like wide, really wide, very well done streets here. I like this place. You guys, we're about to go to the Central Park, another park. Here they have the main cathedral, maybe. They don't have like an actual plaza, plaza where they have everything, but this one has a cathedral. And this park, uh, Helios is telling me that they have, uh, it's very famous because they have iguanas. He's telling me that like, iguanas are very like, they're everywhere here, but I'm pretty surprised that there's iguanas in the middle of the city. So re relatively new because it's like 70 years, but you know, it's not colonial. And here's a really nice park. Yeah. It's actually a really good shot right here. You have like, he's saying like, uh, what's his name? Simón Bolívar, the liberator of South America, I think. Then you have like a church, and then you have Iguana down there. <laughs> like I was saying, there's no plaza, but here is like the municipal buildings. That's the National Palace, and like all government buildings here. Which is really nice. Everything is very nice. The, la the layout is really cool. So guys, Guayaquil has a rich uh, history for the independence from the Spaniards, the revolution of all of Colombia, Grand Colombia, which was like Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, and Panama back in the day. So guys, now we're walking on the boardwalk, <coughs> the boardwalk that you call Malecon here. You guys know. And then there's this character that is very famous. That is Ecuadorian. And then there's... Cabeza de huevo. Cabeza de huevo. They have this tower. This is where it starts and then it goes all the way around. I think where you see those lights, right? So, Simón Bolívar and San Martín. 
And the word that I was looking for was well planned. The city is well planned. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember in Quito, I was saying how it was, the layout was really good. Well, here it's even better. This looks really, really cool. It's the names of all the people that donated money for this uh, boardwalk. It's a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the Matrix, actually. It looks really cool. I don't know if you guys can see it on the, on the, on the video. As you're walking on the boardwalk, they have this IMAX theater right here. It's kind of odd, but it's pretty cool. So we're coming up on that hill that I told you guys. It's Las Peñas. And it's like, uh, they grab a bunch of old houses from downtown and they brought them up here. Just to give like that sense of how it used to be back in the day. I think the stones are also taken from down there. But it's like a hill, so we're gonna see if we can go up and come down in 40 minutes. Because we're gonna go watch a movie at the IMAX. So we are now making our way up to the top of the little hill here. Santana? Santana Hill. This is the old, old, old Guayaquil. Oh, there's a lighthouse up there too. Really nice, guys. I didn't know it was gonna be like this. Very colorful, well done. That is very, very typical of here. People playing bingo. They are like family. They have been living here so long, so yeah. they are our neighbors. So we made it to the top. Of course, you have to have a church at the top. And there's lighthouse, which I think we can go into. So there is Guayaquil, Puntilla, and Duran. Just three different cities, but they all comprise Guayaquil. Es demasiado peligroso. Lo siento. 